I wish I had not been obliged to go to this dance. Oh, there's no escaping now. Well then, I wish I had never seen Weatherbury. That's wicked of you. To wish to be worse off than you are. No, Liddy. I've never been free from trouble since I came here. And I fear this party will only bring me more. Perhaps you should stop wearing black. If I were to wear any light colours, people would say things about me and I should seem to be rejoicing when I am solemn all the time. Oh, you care too much what others think. Enough. That's all I'll say. <laughs> One hour. It's long enough. Oh! If I were God, I would forgive everyone. Everyone in the whole world is good. Everyone. Even the worst of them. We couldn't bear it. Couldn't bear it. Listen. Tell me. Who is it I love? There is someone here whom I love. Who is he? A certain falcon came in a little while ago, and my heart dropped. Fool, it whispered to me. Why, there is the one you love. When you came in, you filled everything with light. What is he afraid of? I thought. But you were afraid, weren't you? Completely afraid. You couldn't speak. It's not them he's afraid of. It's me. Only me. Mitya, how could I have thought I loved another after you? Do you forgive me? And do you forgive me or not? Please, do you love me? You could never get a woman like me. And he won't either, perhaps. As if I'd want such as you. Perhaps I shall see him and say, Did you ever see me look like this before? He left me a thin, consumptive crybaby. I'll sit by him, fascinate him, work him up. Do you see what I am now? I'll say to him. Well, and that's enough for you, my dear sir. There's many a slip twixt the cup and the lip. <sighs> I'm violent and resentful, Alyosha. If I choose, I won't go anywhere now to see anyone. If I choose. It's time we were off. But surely you don't want to leave, Alyosha? Well, he can hardly stay the night with you. Though, if he wants to, let him. I'll go alone. Hush! Evil tongue! And don't you dare start that trembling before me, for I don't believe a word of it. You have a mistress instead of a master, yes. But I shall be up before you are awake. I shall be afield before you are up. And I shall have breakfasted before you are afield. In short, I shall astonish you all. You may go. Well said. I don't need your approbation, Shepherd Oak. Nor do I wish you to take it upon yourself to leap to my defence before the men. I'm well aware that they will talk. Men do, you know. But I'm perfectly capable of speaking on my own behalf. I know, don't. Good. He said that. I missed those exact words. He said that there was a very similar likeness between himself and the young man, so that sometimes people often mistook them. <laughs> oh, miss, but you bain't well. Oh. You look all pale and faintly like a lily. No, I, I'm perfectly well. Tell Gabriel to come to me when she... What's happened, miss? Has something hurt you? No, Niddy, no. Go on and, and do as I told you. Stop. Oh no. Go on. So what shall we do? Shall we sit and sing about the awfulness of men? <laughs> the hey nonny nonny. What else? Will it help? No. I have more faith in laughter dancing and a happy song than endless wallowing till you're used to nothing else. Dear B. <laughs> Faith. Beyond all doubt, you were born in a merry hour. No, not at all. I'm told my mother cried. And then a star danced. And under that was I born. <laughs>